What's going on everybody? It's Chip Walton Chop and Brew. I'm here for a very special unboxing of a box from our good friend Ivar Yaitong in Norway. If you haven't been following Chop and Brew uh, social media throughout 2018, um, you might not know this, but hopefully you do know that Ivar has been sending us many samples of dry kvike yeast from the motherland and this guy uh, especially if you're in the crew of chop and brew special facebook group um, he's just an awesome resource for this thing that's getting really popular obviously in america on the pro scale but this guy is brewing with the dried farmhouse yeast everybody has their house strain um, so what he sent us to make sure that we could bring in the new year with hey yo boom actually i might need that he sent us an epic box, and I'm going to do like a first unboxing. I've never done that before, but we get all these great packages from all over the world, so we might as well do that. So let me show you what's inside this bad boy. Hey, hey, I'm moving the camera. Here we go. Ah! So Eva and our, Ivar and I were both worried that this wouldn't make it, because he said it's very important that we toast in the new year with the, with the Heimabrig or the homebrew, the Voss style homebrew from Norway. He did an excellent job of packing it. Whoa, 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 everybody. Look at this, y'all. Oh, Ivar wasn't playing, y'all. So we have these bottles. <laughs> he did this before he sent us uh, one of his own brews over the summertime that I've yet to release that video but um he packages them soda bottles you can see there's some yeast this one as you can also possibly see or hear it's uh uncarbonated it's flat and he kind of warned us or not warned us but told us in advance that would be the way this one oh it made it across the ocean and it broke on my floor just kidding it's fine this one though fully carbonated got some newspaper I don't know if this was just for padding or if he wants me to know about uh, Norwegian football and art and the forecast, but I'll take it. What else we got? Oh, this was the brand that he bottled over the summer. So this one also appears to be carbonated. He said two of these are raw ale, which means unboiled, and then two are boiled uh the the Voss style which we hope to show you in person maybe even in norway but definitely through video that he has sent us uh the full process of the long cauldron steeping of the juniper to get your your brewing liquor and it's just a crazy concept there's been tons of write-ups in zymergy and byo everybody's kind of on this right now so but this is another one of the uncarbonated oh he sent some snacks y'all this, I think, oh, yes, is the world famous, the brown cheese, the Norwegian brown cheese, and some pulsa, some different dried cured meats. Man, look at this guy, dude, for a pulsa. And another bottle of Heim, Heimabrig. So we got a work cut out for us in tasting these and getting deeper understanding of the Heimabrig Kvass style and the raw ale which uh, I can't remember how you pronounce it but he told me. So here they are epic 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 care package I got my notes from Ivar to make sure I don't speak out of turn here so what we have in the solo bottle this is raw unboiled um, kvaik fermented unboiled carbonated the Pepsi Max bottles are uncarbonated, what he calls old, old style. Um, so that is like the two day process or m multiple hours for sure. Steeping the juniper um, for your brewing liquor, brewing in a giant cauldron most often, uncarbonated. And then uh, another kind of what he calls old style, kvass style, um, made with hops from his wife's family farm. I believe, I don't know how to say it, I believe it's Saland Farm. So 
three totally different takes on Norwegian homebrew. So that's what was in the box. We're going to get to work tasting all of these. we got some friends coming over this evening. Uh, Daniel Fuller, the aforementioned, who has actually brewed with some of this stuff before. So uh, let's just, we'll see you when it's time to drink. Prince. All right, we're here in the basement. I found a beer mugged Dono. What's up, guys? Daniel Fuller's in the house. Jackie's in the house. Jackie gets, Jackie gets. Jackie got no voice, though. Make no sense. I've got no voice. The first sample is raw, meaning unboiled, but hopped, still. The juniper, the nine yards, just everything but being boiled for three so or four boiled. hours. Pasteurized. Shame cheers. on me. I don't cheers. know enough about the What's recipe. What's the Norwegian uh, cheers? Do they say skull? Skull. Skull. I, that, hurts, skull. that hurts my God, sensibilities. You look like we're like Even jammed up in a I know. box. I'm like, we're drinkers in the box. He says these are the eight to nine ish percent. Mm -hmm. It's bringing me back to my roots. Oh, wow. Wow. It's, I find it's this one very bready. And fruity, bitter. I asked him, I was like, where are the hot I food? taste the bitterness. Beers. He says, just because it's not boiled, though, it is heated. I don't know my conversions, but he said 70, 70 C? Celsius. So, yeah. So, it's not like it's, like, it's run off cold and warm. pitched. And so, yeah. He said it's good some hop isomerization, oh, I suppose. It, it also has like a icy fruit punch kind of the thing. The finish is interesting. I wonder if it has a character from the yeast in the finish. Like a... Mm, herbal, uh, like. herbal, um, spice note? I don't know. This is, I gotta uh, say, I'm not too familiar with the raw ales. It's not, uh, uh no. something I've, uh, had much of. You don't hit it raw But a it lot? ferments, right? I like it a lot, actually. There Thank you, you Ivar. Raw. There you go. And Sigmund. Oh, would you? I'm sorry. Come on. It's New Year's Eve. There's children. Yeah, right. So this is as Ivar calls old style. So, Voss. Up. So, I really, the more I think about it, though, raw is old, just not boiled, maybe? I don't know. Old raw style means, means okay, he's so collected the raw meat. means not boiled. Not That's boiled. what you said? Raw. Yep. So, the word is collected. So, you're not going to get I think a lot of bitterness because you're not boiling hops to get not, bitterness. It's hops are strictly Who's preservative. Empty? Someone's talking too much. I'm not empty. It's good. Talking. All that damn talking. I'm. Drinking. That's good. So you like pour me like giant sorry. glasses. Well, too, they and came like, in giant. <laughs> I'm just saying. One point like, five like, liter bottles. Here's of, eight ounces of this stuff. No, Drink man, it this, now. It's just Pepsi Max, bro. It's gonna be cool. Pepsi Max. Happy what New is New Pepsi Year? Max? Coke's cool too. I remember new Coke. Coke's Looks like it cool. would be good with. Uh, so this yes. one, uncarbonated, brewed uh, in the so old good. style. So I assume that means like the juniper. Steeped in the cauldron Juniper and then infused. boiled for three. It's a lot different. With Sigmund Kvike, Sigmund Jurnus Kvike, pitched at probably 42C. This guy. This is like 42C. Evar ah. has told me nothing well, but 42 Well, he's told it to me and I cannot C. retain it for some reason. This is boiled but just uncarbonated in the end. So I'm trying to compare this one to the previous one in my mind's eye. a little fruity. Less red. To me, it's less bready, less more sweet, it's less, less high C punch. More sweet to me, more fruity, but less bready, less yeasty, I guess, for What's up, lack dog? of a word. What What's up, up Burton? How'd you get Bert down here? Burton's going to start Epsom <clears throat> salt off the floor, y'all. Just in case you wonder, Wonka is my homeboy. So this one, <laughs> art is mine. Is boiled. <laughs> is boiled. For Ours. three to four hours. <laughs> Not. The Which one crazy, that I did that was, I want to say it was a two hour and it was boiled in a fire. Yeah. Like I put like my brew kettle in the fire, in fire. Oh. and I put coals around it okay. to keep it boiling. Huh. Metal? Like stainless steel brew kettle? Yeah. Not cauldrons and Dutch ovens? And I have video. Soon enough. Video forthcoming. <laughs> That sounds like a pagan ritual, man. Do you have video of it? Shh. I like it. <laughs> it's like we're it gonna too. shoot it. Hit it's like, been <laughs> shot. Just flew across the planet. I'm trying to like, compare this one to the previous I one. Think I think we did. I no, in my own opinion, I'm <laughs> wondering if I. If only it got here e earlier, Ivar. Earlier, Ivar. Maybe your Vikes. 
So this one is old Very style lovely. kvass, boiled, traditional, but these are... It's not this kvass. one's brewed with hops from Ivar's wife's oh. farmland. This one is the most um, I'm a, familiar tasting. I'm a it's like more like a beer that you've had. Yes. This one does a, bar, taste a golden like it ale, a barley mm -hmm. wine. Yep. A, it does something it to in your wheelhouse for sure. Is it like what I made before? Is yours drier? Mm -hmm. Then something like this. I Sorry for my sniffles officially. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? What's up? I'm gonna get a dog and name him Kavike. We got dogs. Look at He's the size of his dog. He was almost named Kavike. Look at this oh. dog's feet. It's cray cray. He was almost named Evar, too. Oh, Jesus. He was, oh, really? he was yeah. almost named Evar. Oh, really? Oh, he was really named Kavike. And I was like, no. He's a big doggy. Does he like, pee? That's fucking got beer weird. down. That's me. That was you. So I'm getting you get a sweater. Chop and bruise for the dogs. Chop and bruise for everyone. <laughs> Wu Tang is for the children. Oh, Wu Tang is for the children. This is nice. Uh, so if these are all fermented really with good. the same kvike, uh, they're not the same, but it's the same. Like, what through line do you find in these? What greatest common factor, least common denominator? I wonder if the malt. Citrusy. They are all. I wonder if the malt that, that I wonder if the malt that he uses is uh, similar, like a similar grain bill, because like there's a maltiness. To all of these, yeah, he has said that. Did it's I tell like you what I did with mine? One hundred percent two row. Take ten percent and roast it in the fire. Oh, interesting. Like in like a cast iron, like popcorn. You know what I mean? Like not like burn it, but like roast Post it. Remember when we drank um, the really strong one in your garage? Yeah, it was like really strong. It's yes. not. This one doesn't seem as strong. You that. know what the funny thing it, about is that is, different, though? Is it a different uh It's the situation? same bottle. It might nah. be the same bottle. <laughs> and like, that's what Bob was saying. He's like, that's an orange soda, man. It all I said like is, soda. all I know is he said these are all 8 to 9. I okay. feel like that one was more like 10 or 11. Yeah, I thought one of them was um, a little more, uh, you know, base for your face. And it was like, they are not weak beers. What's supposed to become of all of these beers? What are you supposed to do with all these? We are supposed to howl at the moon after well, he drinking won't his beers. Oh, Year's <laughs> That's exactly what so we're New Year's Eve, we definitely have to be drinking. Like, it's, at New Year's, we need to be drinking. It's Mary okay. Yule. Ah! Look at this asshole! <laughs> yeah. I gotta see his ass face. Dono and Daniel and Jackie. What the fuck are you wearing, He's a beer mug, yo! He is a beer mug! Out, yo. A beer? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's New Year's. This is Dono and Daniel and Jackie. Hey, Dono, you wanna come to the Chopping Brew episode? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna show you this beer you probably never heard of. It's German. It's called Bex. <laughs> <laughs> you got any fucking Pilsner or Carol? Or should be on a Chopping Brew episode, man. Look at the beer beers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I hey, Art. I just altered. <laughs> Play us a fucking song. Oh my god. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come sing on, me man. one. No, 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 no. He will. Too. I mean, I can play a song. Yeah. We'll just sing. What? It. Uh, what kind of song do you want? Oh, that god. song. New Year's yeah. song. Yeah. Happy New Year's song. Where did that guitar come from? <laughs> I don't know. This I don't know. What is it? It's a new surreal song from fucking Deliverance. <laughs> I want to get rid of this shit. <laughs> it is. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! <laughs> Roll tide. <laughs> I think it's... I think, he's <laughs> I think he's trolling me is what he's doing. I told you. All right, man, we can let you go. Get to your fireworks. Yeah, yeah, we're, We're going to get upstairs. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Art, Mimi, Jesse. I said peace, Mob Town. Mob Town. Peace, Mob okay. Town. Peace be unto you. Pat Pay says hello. Have a good night. That was fun. Hey, I'm still on this shit. I can't close it. How do I end the call? How the fuck do I start? <laughs> oh, that was a good you gotta...
deal with this. Bye, Dino. Bye. Bye. All right. Give me yawning. That's Grandpa's a hot yawning track. over here. That's a hot track right there. That's a deep cut right there. They love it. They love the yawning footage. It's like a fetish. It's like yawning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Makes everybody yawn. Meow. Meow. Look at that guy. He's me yawning. Yawn. French toast. This and tastes like it would be really good with four friends. Sausages and. and... Four friends and sausages. Mm. Yeah. Hmm.